let's now move on to the third question that wants us to show the calculation for depreciation on equipment. Okay, so once again, guys, remember, you're going to break this down into disposal, if there were any, but there wasn't in this case, right? We're going to look at any new equipment that we purchased, as well as our old or our remaining equipment. Okay, right, so let's go back to our info. Okay, so now we're focusing on equipment. So clearly I can see on the 1st of October 2007, equipment to the value of 84,000 was contributed by the owner. So clearly that 84,000 is my new equipment. You guys with me? Right, if I scroll through the rest of the information, there is absolutely nothing about selling any equipment. So clearly there's no disposal. So all I'm dealing with is new equipment, and if I look further up, I'm obviously looking at my old equipment as well. Right, so let's start with the new equipment, 84,000. The depreciation that I'm writing off is 20% on the diminishing balance method. So let's do that, right? So I've got disposal zero, new equipment, 84,000. Okay, and remember guys, this was contributed. So let's just quickly draw our timeline. 1st of March, 28th of Feb, 2008, right? So this was contributed on the 1st of October by the owner. So remember, you only writing off depreciation for this time frame of the year. So what do I mean by only this time frame of the year? I'm looking at the month of October, November, December, January, and February. So looking at this worm that I've drawn, I'm writing off depreciation for one, two, three, four, five months. Right, so 84,000 times the rate of depreciation, which was given to us as an amount of, just quickly looking for that rate, I think it was 20%, uh, so times 20%, times five over 12, and my depreciation on new, so let's do that quickly together, right, 84,000 times 20% times five divided by 12, I'm sure you guys do this much quicker, and my depreciation is 7,000, okay. Right, on my old or remaining equipment, so remember, I need my cost, minus accumulated depreciation, because it is on the diminishing balance method, then I'm gonna multiply this by 20%, and obviously for the entire year, because the old equipment I would have owned for the entire year. Right, so let's go back to our info very quickly. So at the beginning of the year, equipment cost was 390,000 and my accumulated depreciation on equipment, 104,000. So let's take that through. So 390,000, okay, minus accumulated depreciation, which is 104,000, okay, and then I multiply this by the rate and for the entire year, which obviously cancels out. Right, so let's work out our carrying value on the equipment first. So 390,000 minus 104,000. So this equipment is worth 286,000. That's our carrying value. So times that by 20% and we're writing off depreciation 57,200. So my total depreciation for equipment will be 7,000 plus 57,200. Okay, so we're just simply adding on the 7,000 here, so plus 7,000, and that gives us an amount of 64,000. Kind of missed that, so let's go back, 64,200. Okay, right, so by calculation on equipment, depreciation for equipment is now done.